I have the headlights off of the car, I'm gonna respray it with clear coat. But before I do that, I have to hit it with 400 grit sandpaper first and finish it off with 1500 grit sandpaper and get this crystal clear enamel to spray it down. Hey, hey buddy, hey buddy. All right, let's get started. Have you ever thought about that? What are you doing for the world or for other people? Day after day, hour after hour, night after night. All right, so in order to get a nice, clean look, you're gonna wanna make sure that when you're sanding it, the whole headlight looks uh, looks like this. And it looks ugly right now, but once I spray the clear coat, it's gonna look nice and clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one, and I'll spray the clear coat on. All right, I got both headlights sanded down with 1500 grit sandpaper. And here is the clear coat that I'm using to spray it down. And hopefully they'll turn out like new. So we'll see how it looks. They look brand new. All right, so the last step, I'm gonna throw some turtle wax on there. These headlights look brand new, dang. When you apply the wax, you're gonna wanna go in little circles, little tiny circles so that you don't scratch the clear coat on there. A few minutes later, all right, now just let it sit there for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna wipe it down. Approximately 10 hours later. All right, got my cloth, gonna wipe it down. Wow, that made a huge difference. All right, so here's a before of what the headlights look like and after I sprayed them with clear coat. And if you look closely, you can see inside of the headlights, there are little cracks. There's nothing you can do about that, but for a $5 spray job, it's better than nothing, so. All right, I'm gonna throw the headlights in right now and throw the bumper on. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna go to my friend Carlos's house. He has a twin turbo 300ZX. He's about to start it for the first time, so I'm happy to see that. And I'll see you guys when I get there. Alright, so here with, with Carlos. Hey, what's up, guys? So he twin turbo swapped his motor. He threw the VG30 DETT and started up, dude. Alright, let's get it. You guys ready? Really? 
All right, so when I had my 300ZX, this is a this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to swap the put the twin turbo motor on it. So how was it, dude? How was the swap? Um, Loki is a pain in the ass just because like there's no room anywhere. But all in all, since like doing everything, doing it again would be pretty fun. Just because I know for a fact that like I know this car in and out after this. So like that's one good thing about like building a car like this. Just like you, you get to know every single corner of the car. You kept the the ECU. Yeah, I kept the ECU. I have the one that came with the original one over here. I didn't notice that the guy he had an aftermarket ECU and then like it had a it had race on it. And before I took the engine out, I never flipped it to race mode. Ah. Like yeah, I never did that, dude. It was pulling so fucking hard like before with, with not race mode. on race yeah. mode. And then after that, it was just. I wish I wish I would have known. Well, yeah. I and mean, what is that? Dual mouth. Dual mouth setup with the Celine translator, side mounts. Oh yeah, side mounts right here. Uh, what else? I think. Um, I just got aftermarket. I didn't really. It's pretty much stock except for like all the silicone stuff and the. What I really like are the headers, like the. Z1 or they. They're AMS. AMS. Yeah, they're pretty good. Pretty well known, I guess. But yeah, it's pretty much stock except for like little things. Nice. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys for watching. This is Carlos. And hey, nice to meet you. Yeah. And my homie Edgar came through. Yeah. So, thanks for watching.